The latest Kids Count report is out today and shows the number of children living in poverty is staggering. That number is only growing. Elizabeth Crenshaw shows us how this latest data is impacting the community and what resources are available. The Michigan League for Public Policy says one in five children are living in poverty. That's a 15% increase since 2008. A statistic that Joanne Jackson Johnson, Director of Human Relations and Community Services, is all too familiar with. What it represents is several things. Number one, uh, families that are uh, working in the Greater Lansing area, uh, and we have larger numbers of city uh, individuals in the city of Lansing, that they just aren't surviving, and we have so many challenges from basic need. Johnson tells me Lansing is ranked number 46 in Michigan for overall child well-being and says the city is a hub for homelessness and children and families missing meals. Our last count was almost 5,000 individuals and of those, you know, 49 percent were women with children. But there are resources available to help kids and families in need. The city of Lansing does a feeding program seven times a year when there is no school and no free lunches available. So what we really want to do at the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services is work with those families to remove any barriers to success or barriers to the parents being able to find employment so that they can support their families and so their children can be better off in a better situation. But even with resources, there is still more work to do and it starts with us. We can't let kids or our seniors go to bed hungry. We can't let them become homeless. We can't allow them to have the utility shut off. We as a community have to uh, pull our resources together and make sure that Lansing is a healthy and happy place for all. In Lansing, Elizabeth Crenshaw, Fox 47 News. The Michigan Department of Health and Human Services says families in need can call 211 for help finding resources in the community.